Hi, I'm Marcus Adams, and I work as a solar operations supervisor for DTE Energy, Michigan's largest producer of, and investor in, renewable energy. My responsibilities include overseeing the operations and maintenance of DTE solar parks, ensuring they continue working safely and efficiently to deliver clean energy to our customers. DTE has a clean vision for Michigan and is transforming the way we generate electricity, making investments in renewable energy so we can build a more sustainable world for future generations. These investments are also strengthening our state's economy by creating local clean energy jobs, providing added tax revenue to local communities, and supplying extra income to local farmers. Let's take a closer look. Here you can see our Sauk Solar Park in Lower Michigan's Branch County, one of DTE's newest solar developments. This park covers 851 acres and generates 150 megawatts of clean energy, enough to power approximately 40,000 homes. This clean energy comes from nearly 347,000 solar panels at the Sauk Solar Park. But how do these solar panels actually work? DTE is using the latest solar panel technology to maximize our clean energy generation. These panels you see here use a tracker system which allows them to follow the sun, maximizing electricity generation. The tracker system calculates the time of day, energy output from the sun, and temperature, along with other data. It then optimizes the angle of the solar panel so they produce the most energy possible at any time of the day. Solar panels, which are primarily made of silicon, consist of photovoltaic cells which means they can produce an electric current. Direct current generated inside a solar panel travels to a piece of equipment in the solar park called an inverter, where it is converted to alternating current for efficient transmission over long distances. It then travels across a network of transmission towers, substations, and power lines, collectively called the power grid, to reach homes, schools, and businesses throughout Michigan. Now, let's take a look at those inverters I mentioned. Inverters, like the ones you see here, are the primary source of sound within the solar park. But this sound is generally only audible while standing near the equipment and is similar in volume to background noises. Even a short distance away from the inverter, you can easily hear how the sound is diminished. DTE always aims to centralize inverter locations well inside the solar park, which minimizes the sound that reaches the surrounding areas. We also adhere to local noise ordinances, so the surrounding community detects little to no sound. To further ensure our solar park neighbors aren't affected, we adhere to local setback ordinances, which means homes will be a good distance away from the solar park. We also plant vegetation around the solar park so panels aren't as visible from outside, especially over the years as vegetation grows taller. DTE actively works to minimize land grading, soil movement, and any other changes to the landscape when constructing a solar park. For our newest solar developments, we are using terrain following technology, which allows us to further minimize land grading during solar park construction. Terrain following trackers allow for the supporting foundations of the solar panels to vary in height. This means the rows of solar panels can follow the existing slope of land and we don't have to grade the land to create a flat surface. At the end of the solar park's life, DT is responsible for restoring the area to its original condition to the extent possible, and it can be reverted back to agricultural use. DTE has a long history of environmental stewardship, and this is deeply embedded in our solar energy projects. Throughout development and during the operational life of a solar park, we conduct intensive environmental studies and employee training to ensure local wildlife is protected. That means our solar parks do not present a risk to local wildlife, including birds, deer, and other animals. Additionally, DTE is incorporating pollinator habitats at our solar parks to support bees, butterflies, and other pollinating species whose natural habitats are rapidly disappearing. In fact, we already have more than 36 sites that have achieved habitat certification by the Wildlife Habitat Council. Solar panels do not pose risks to the surrounding environment during operation or during removal and disposal. The primary material in the solar panels used by DTE is silicon, the second most common element on Earth and found in most consumer electronics from cell phones to computer chips. 
Other components used in solar panels include boron and phosphorus, which are also non-hazardous to the environment and human health. Let's take a look at a broken solar panel. You can see that even when damaged, the solar panel glass doesn't break apart or litter the ground, and nothing leaks from the solar panel. In fact, broken solar panels are still able to generate electricity. Though, of course, part of my job and the job of DTE solar technicians is to ensure broken solar panels are repaired or replaced in a timely manner. The life of a solar park is approximately 25 to 35 years. While solar panels continue to generate energy as they age, their output typically declines. As technology advances, solar panel degradation rates are improving, and today's solar panels still operate at 82.5% at the end of their useful life. Prior to decommissioning, DTE works with solar park communities to collaborate on a plan for equipment removal, land restoration, and recycling. Once the solar panels are removed from the site, DTE works with environmentally responsible recycling companies to reprocess them. Solar panel recycling has the potential to create thousands of jobs for workers involved in the process, as well as new industries focused on utilizing recovered materials. Thank you for joining us on our solar park tour. If you're interested in learning more about DTE's renewable energy plans, including wind energy and energy storage, visit dteenergy.com renew.